What up, everybody? What up? In this video, right, we have decided to do something a little different, right? So because normally you guys always get to see the craziness, the kids running around, you know, ever since we started, right? Now, this kind of dates back to when we first started doing YouTube back in 2016. Um, we, we started not knowing where the channel was gonna go, right? Um, and it's always been a lot of fun, but right? we started basically putting our life on video for you guys to see and enjoy and kind of transition to the changes with us um, and get to see our family grow. Yeah, I mean, you guys got to see the birth of Austin and Axton, um, and then you guys got to see Anthony grow from the age of three. almost, yeah, almost three. four. He was almost three four, yeah. um, up until he's now eight, and so. It's been really cool. I mean, this is something that we, so we decided to make a change to what we do. Um, we're quitting YouTube, guys. That's it, we're done. Nah, just kidding. Not going nowhere, but. Um, we wanna almost revamp. Right, and so, so the reason is because I feel like it almost, it almost explains us a little bit better, right? So, people like you hear in other videos, right? People only see what you want them to see, right? They don't see the behind the scenes. They don't see the, the hardships. They don't see the stress or any of those things that kind of go along into what it takes to make a video, what it takes to prepare for a video, what it takes to do, you know, brand deals and what it takes when... Just even the most minimal as like a vlog you don't see and i'll be honest you don't see the arguments between the little ones you don't see how many honest like fits that have been thrown but we're gonna now if you guys step. have kind of remember where our intro started right the intro was a quick little clip uh, me and anthony um i'll actually play it for you right now <laughs> Okay, so that's the one that we started with, right? And then as our family kind of grew, we kind of changed, kind of, you know, the channel grew, we switched our intro to this. Right, and we enjoyed that one. Now that one, I liked it. The kids love it. It's a catchy sound. So when you got when you listen on TV, you know it's your channel coming on. We enjoy doing this. Like at this point, yeah. we enjoy it. So we'll take a look at but this. Is it, what before you say that, I feel like also this change, and correct me if I'm wrong, that we want to make or that we are making is more so that we can hit. Almost everyone. Like a broader, okay, yeah. so so you guys remember, if you guys have been watching since day one, you guys have also, yeah, at that point, you guys were also a little younger, right? So now you're kind of growing up, but well, what we're doing is trying to basically have you grow up with us. And um, anyways, take a look at this new intro. That one, I like it. Like, I feel like it's just more I love catchy. It. There's pictures of the babies and when we were younger, growing up to now. Um, I think it's kind of fun. 
It is. Not it that the other fun. ones weren't fun, but I feel like it's just more relatable. Yeah. Right. And because what we're trying to do essentially with the channel is is bring it to a bring the bring a platform to people that can relate, parents that you know go through the same things every day, kids that you know we touch on all different kinds of things, kids that. You know, we're very against bullying. You know, these are just real things in this world. Um, you know, I know you guys always see like us laughing and stuff on camera, but there's also times that, you know, even like right now, um, I know you guys all know who Duke is, or people that watch our channel know who Duke is. Um, Duke, for you guys who don't know, Duke was a gift that we got Anthony a few years ago on Christmas. Um, which essentially we thought it was just that, a gift that we got Anthony. But it right. essentially became a gift to the whole family. To all of us. Now, I'm gonna roll this video clip uh, real quick of uh, when Anthony first met you. Merry Christmas, Anthony. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Anthony. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. It's for you. You're so cute. Are you excited? <laughs> you wanted a dog, you have to learn to pick up the poop. Pick it up. So, that day was super special because all he wanted was a dog. Um, we did a lot of work, a lot of research, and... That entire year leading up to that point was I want a puppy. So the reason I mentioned him is because, um, unfortunately, with some situations that have happened, um, we we had to find Duke another home, and it's been and this is just you know recently, and this has been very hard for our family, um, and a lot of people don't see the the hurt that or feel the hurt that we feel because it is something very real. I mean, I'm sure people have lost pets before. People have lost their animals that they love. Duke was one of those. He was very special to us. And um, we knew that the decision we were making was the right one for as hard as it was. Um, Duke has always been, our, you know, people didn't ever get a chance to see, right? Like, No, I mean. A lot of times people, People saw him as a big scary dog because yeah. he's a Rottweiler. Um, but I can tell you and anybody that owns one, Rottweilers are probably one of the most loyal dogs you can ever have. And the sweetest too. I mean, he, he was just like was a big so bear. In tune though, yeah, with us. If we were sad, he knew we were sad. I swear, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I think he knew I was pregnant with Axton before I even knew I was pregnant with Axton. Just the way he was glued to me, if you remember. Like, yeah. anywhere I went, I got up, he he was right there. I, I, you know, I'd go to the kitchen, he was right there. He just was, mm -hmm. he was, and is still the most so normally, amazing dog. And normally because, like the intro I just showed you, you see him in there. Um, I don't feel like I have the heart in me to take him out of it because no. I feel like he's such a close piece and uh, 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 such an important family piece member. to our puzzle that we call a family that it would hurt me more just to take him out of something as simple as people watching for a quick second. Duke was, the, and, uh, you know, he was an animal that was very comforting when it was us. You know, they're, they, these dogs now, they're not like your typical dog. They are protective, um, but we knew what we were getting ourselves into. and. You know, and it hurts the fact that we had to let him go. Now, obviously, granted, now, now, don't get me wrong. We have uh, we have Kaya, which yes. those of you guys have know that know Kaya. Uh, she's our she's a cane corso. We got her as a puppy. Um, she's also a big mush. She is. She's actually a big scary looking. Another she's a mush. dog that people get intimidated by because of her appearance, but her as well. She's she's a big mush, and she's very very lovable and. I feel like a lot of people, even I'm sure some of you guys can relate, don't get to experience that outside people come looking yeah. in because they don't see that same love 
they see a dog that's protecting their home and protecting the people that they love. Um, so, you know, because I just kind of want to share day, that. You know, for as much as people overlook it, dogs are the most loyal. loyal. Yeah, dogs are more loyal than people, people. are. Yeah. And, and All they want to do is protect you and love you and just please you at the end of the day. And it's been very hard. Um, but on, on the upside, we know that he's being well taken care of. Yeah. We know who he's with. Yeah. Um, doesn't make it any easier, but we know that the decision we made was the right one. Um, and that, that that's what I think hurts the most, you know? Yeah. So um, obviously if you guys don't see Duke in the videos going forward, that's the that reason why. That's the reason why. Um, but I just wanted to kind of talk about, you know, like, like our life, you know, I want you guys to be able to get to know who we are as people Growing up, I came from a family where, you know, we had our struggles and there's things that I always dreamed of being able to have that I knew I couldn't have as a kid. Um, I never got a chance to have those things. I grew up in a big family and that's what I try to provide to my kids. So it's not, so when you guys see us doing things with our families and, and enjoying these special times, it's not by any means because we're, we're spoiling them. But in a sense, we are because we're trying to give them what we were never able to have, and I'm sure a lot of people. But we're can relate. also enjoying it with them for the first time with them, basically, if right. that makes sense. Right. So we, when we put these videos out, or when we have put these videos out, rather, yeah. because it has been a slow video. You know, we have been releasing them slow because, and, and I'll get into that shortly. But um, we we are very humbled when we get to put these things because we genuinely enjoy these things that we get to do and there's such special moments for our family um memories that we get to have and, and when you think about it we have all these videos of the, our kids that we can look back one day okay. that are not in little flip book pictures that think yeah. that they can enjoy as well to watch and laugh on um, which we actually have gotten to experience that exact scenario recently with Austin, um, which I still think is so cute and it's so funny because Austin doesn't realize or know a life without Anthony and Axton. Right. Because we had Austin and Axton so close together that mm -hmm. they both, those two, I can honestly say we'll never know a life without each other. Right. So there's times where we'll be watching our own videos and you'll hear Austin say, oh, I was sleeping. Or, you know, Axton was sleeping too, which is funny because at that point he wasn't there yet, which is, is kind of bittersweet. And then you see when he was born and he's like, oh, that's baby Austin. Or, you know, and those moments for us, I feel like are so special and we hold near and dear, basically. Mm -hmm. And and one big thing, and you know, it's almost, you, you kind of look at this as like an apology to you guys, is that, you know, we, we truly do want to be able to put videos out every single week, yeah. multiple times a week for you guys to enjoy. We, we hit a point at, in our channel um, where there was a lot of craziness going on with kids' channels and we were completely shut down uh, demonetized and we were trying to basically pick up all the pieces and figure everything out in the midst of that you know from a realistic standpoint we had to still you know as a as a father as a husband I had to still be able to provide for my family and do whatever it takes necessary to make sure that I can make that happen um, so that's one of the reasons why because with working and making sure that we can keep everything the way we have um it just meant working that much harder to to keep that consistency um now granted do we want to do videos have we recorded yeah we have a ton of stuff recorded uh, that we do it we do uh, we are we are and have been putting out yeah um just when you think you think you've got it like you've just nailed it as a parent and you're like there yeah they just Bolt in a completely else. different direction. Yeah, exactly. Which is, exactly. I mean, I guess that's the joys of being a parent, but I feel like at the same token, there's days where, like, 
you're just beat. And it's true. I mean, think about it like, we, for example, we just finished Anthony's football season, yeah. right? And it, with everything going on with COVID, you know, this has been a rough year for everybody across the board, I think it's fair to say. And we have managed to give him a full season because we wanted him to do something. We wanted him to be part of something and enjoy something and not feel so confined to four walls, four walls in the home. Because let's be um, honest, I mean, it's been rough on everyone. Yeah, yeah, no, it everyone. has. And we thought that would be one thing that would make him happy, right? So as you know, we make that sacrifice. And when we do, you know, that means going to practice two times a week and then having a game every Saturday. Saturday. And so right as I'm finishing with work, I'm going right to practice, right after practice, we're coming home, dinner, showers, kids it's in bed, bed and doing and it all over. And then Saturdays, the which is typically your day to just chill, yeah. you know? We were, we're getting up, up at six in the six morning, in the morning getting get ready it. for an eight o'clock or nine o'clock football game yeah. and trying to get him ready, getting the kids ready, figuring out what they're gonna do, what they're gonna eat, how we're gonna get breakfast, how we're gonna get the day through, yeah. and then still getting everything we have to get done. Um, so it does, it does take up a lot of time. Um, but we kind of feel like, you know, which we're not looking point. for make like to make an excuse by any no, means. No, no, but no, no, no. But kind just of to almost, kind of a, just to kind of tell kind you guys, of, football's over. You yeah. know, now we want to do what we enjoy doing, and that's yeah. being able to deliver something to you guys that hopefully you guys will enjoy, and your families, and your brothers, and your sisters, and your friends, um, but also enjoying it in a different aspect of, you know, us showing you who we really are, you know, showing you guys who beyond the surface of what you guys have seen, showing you guys, you know, what it's like when our kids have meltdowns, because I'm sure you oh, guys have experienced yeah. it. Which I um, think like I've always been a little timid to show that because I'll just be honest, I feel like sometimes you're like, no, it has to be perfect. It has to, and I'm not saying you per se, but like as parents, you're like, no, no, no. Like even like, which I find hysterical because they hate me for this, but I love pictures. Like I absolutely oh, yeah. love, yeah. love pictures. My house. It could be like the worst moment in the day. She's like, wait, let me just get this picture. I'm like, babe, seriously? Like of all times when accents are hanging from the edge of the couch, Anthony's bouncing up and down. <laughs> you want to stop and take a picture. I was like, Fine. But to me, those things are just as important as videos. And I find it hysterical because I always, and I, and I always make this mistake, which is I always post the perfect picture. Like I'll sit there and am I, am I wrong? I'll take like 15 pictures. Yeah. No lie. I will take 15 pictures she will and I have her to, battery make, off yes, just to, to get, get the perfect down. picture. And at mothers out there, I'm sure this has happened to you too, where you just want the three of them or four of them or however many babies you have to smile. And it is the most you got difficult. One, you got one like this. The other one's you got like- one looking away. I you mean, the other one mad. If you go to our Instagram, boring. like you see our Santa picture that we took where Axton had to stand up and point at God knows well, it was what. kind of weird because they had a uh, a, a plexiglass divider between well, yeah, but Santa. Well, yeah, because of what's going on. But, I know, but it's just weird. They're not, but even still, they're experiencing their, that's the, that's yeah. their new normal. And hopefully it's not long lived, yeah. but it is their new normal. And that's what a lot of us today have to deal with. So when we can kind of sit back and be like, hey, we're not the only ones going through this. It's kind of refreshing in a sense too, because then you know that there's other people facing the same things. You know what I mean? like. Granted, you know, there's people losing their jobs. There's people, so I'm very fortunate in that aspect that, like, I've been able to maintain that. Um, but there's people that don't have that. There's people that don't have a lot. And I know what that's like because I grew up that way. You know, I didn't, I didn't grow up, I grew up in a town where money was everything. And I was one of those people that didn't have that situation. Um, I grew up in a town where your image was such a big thing and how you dressed was such oh, a big yeah. thing, yeah. right? And so when, when we got to a point um, when we were, you know, when we're going back again now, like two years, two years ago, um, we got to a point where we were able to enjoy those things and 
start getting the clothes that we really want and start yeah. getting the the cars that we wanted and start building the home building you know building things in our home that we wanted and making it look I never in a million years dreamed that you know to, to some people that they like look at my house like oh it's small I look at it I was like damn like this house is dope like I yeah. love this house I love yeah. where we're able to live and what we're able to do um, and one thing granted even though things that kind of went flaky with the channel is I, I, I can honestly say that I've always worked very hard to make sure that I can give the best to my family that I could. And that's one thing that's always very important to me because my parents and my dad, you know, seeing my dad sacrifice everything and missing such big milestones in our life to be able to keep a roof over our head and keep food in the, food in the fridge, you know, it really makes you take an appreciation to those things that you want to be able to give to your family or have. And we're coming to a time of the year where family is everything, you know, and, and granted with, you know, the holidays around the corner, it, it, for some people, this is a really hard time, you know, like my grandma passed, you know, growing up, I had, you know, two, three grandmas, no grandfathers in the picture. Um, but my my dad's my dad's mom and then my grandma on my mom's side and my great grandma and my grandma on my mom's side and my great grandma were super super close with me and my family um my siblings and my parents and it's like one of those things that makes you go back and remember just like those times as a kid so uh, i think for example when when we were younger um my family, I have a huge family on my dad's <laughs> side. My family's massive, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> so we would go Christmas Eve, we'd be, we would go to church for, for mass. And then, cause we used to go to a Catholic church when we were little and we switched to Christian church, but we would go to church and then it was to this house, to this house, to this house, to this house, to this house. And then the next day we were at our house, six o'clock in the morning, you hear my grandma come into our door and you hear, ho, 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 I said, <coughs> and then she'd be like, Sean, hurry up with the damn bags. Cause she had a bunch of bags filled with gifts <laughs> and Sean is my uncle. Um, but it was a funny thing, but it, I look back at it now and it was one of the best memories I think I've ever had as a kid, um, especially around this time of year, because did we always get the biggest and the craziest gifts? No, we didn't, but we always, had something that meant so much more and that's kind of where I'm getting out with this is like we we were able to have like that that love and that feeling of just being with your family who you care about so much that was what was always important to me and that's what still is very important to me um you know those are things that I don't get to have anymore you know my grandma passed um my great grandma passed my other grandma passed so having my great grandma around we would go to her house right after our house we would go to her house and she would load us up with food and presents and and it was always a really good time and and as we got older we kind of started doing people you know my sister just had their families my brother had his family people moved away and we didn't get to to do that and you know being able to do that for my kids it's like that's such a big thing to me you know even you know, putting together holiday decorations, doing stuff with them, like that stuff is the so, things that, that stuff is so big to me. And that's kind of what I'm hoping you guys take from this is that it, it's not all about the presence or, you know, these huge YouTubers, like, you know, like, uh, you know, or even small YouTubers, you know, mediocre youtubers everybody you know they're still all people yeah um we still have our lives behind the scenes and you know we all do it obviously for you guys everybody and now obviously going in a broader and a broader topic everybody does it because they want to be able to provide something for you guys to enjoy um but those are the things that i didn't get to have as a kid we we didn't grow up with money um it, it was way beyond that and especially again like with this year and the craziness and such like division in this country, it's like 
you know, I grew up with all different kinds of races, you know, so I had phases where, well, oh my God, I mean, there's kids that won't even understand this, but if your parents are watching, I grew up where I thought I was all big and bad, and I would go to the school dance with my, you know, my windbreaker <laughs> pants, one leg up. I had a, a visor, visor on my head with, with a do rag on, like thinking I was some, and a beeper in the side <laughs> of the head. 90% of you guys probably know what a beeper is, but I had a beeper in my head, and then I started getting to a different phase, and I started going to a different phase, and um, even when even when we met, I mean, we met. That's <laughs> a funny story, but we're not gonna go into too too deep into it because that was a long conversation. But we met through mutual friends, and she thought I was she thought I was like ooh, and I'm over yeah. here thinking I'm hot stuff and like <laughs> dressing to the nines and you know trying to look all big and cool and and eventually, obviously, she found her she found her way right, her way to the right one. <laughs> God, in all fairness, not to go too deep, but. I guess I I don't want to say met you because like I heard of you or our mutual friends, but this was years before we actually met. Right, right. So by the time we met, it, I'll tell you exactly how it happened. 